Hi! In this video, we'll show you how you can create a chatbot on Facebook Messenger in just 10 minutes using ChatFuel. To illustrate, we'll create a responsive steakhouse chatbot with easy navigation and a variety of content. We'll also show you how you can use AI, so the chatbot can respond to users' text queries and generate responses that can be sent directly to a chatbot's administrator. First, visit chatfuel.com and click Create Free Facebook Bot. You'll have to be signed into Facebook to continue to your Chatfuel dashboard. Enter a name for your new chatbot, in our example, we'll say Skeen Steakhouse, and choose a blank template, then click Create a Chatbot. Then, click your newly created chatbot to start editing. You'll see the block Welcome Message. This is the message your bot will send every new user the first time they communicate with your bot. To start, add another card to add a greeting and upload an image. Drag it to the top, so that it's the first introductory message. Now you can change the text of the second message. In it, we'll help the user take the first step in dealing with a bot. Add introductory text and a button leading to the chatbot's navigation, which we'll do later. It's time to create the main navigation. For convenience, we'll create a group and name it Navigation. In this case, navigation consists of two cards. The first will be our menu. Add a title, description, and a button that leads to our restaurant menu. The second will be Hours and Directions. Add a title, description, and two buttons. Show directions and reserve a table. Then you can add pictures. It's time to build out the menu for our steakhouse. Create a menu group and a block inside of it. Add a gallery. We've prepared all the menu descriptions and pictures ahead of time, so we'll just copy them. First, we'll add all the basic positions. There can be up to nine in a row. As you can see, adding and editing content is quick and easy. Let's add a card at the end of the row and link it to our chatbot navigation. Add a button to it and link it to the navigation. 
Add all card images. Excellent! Now let's add a group in a block called Destinations, which will help users get to our restaurant. Add a gallery. We can add cards with any kind of content. In this case, we'll add two text cards with description but without buttons, a card with a picture, which leads to Google Maps, and then a card that returns users to the navigation screen. Add a Google Maps link to the card directions on map. Add the last card and link it to our navigation and then add images. Great! Now let's create the path for reserving a table. Add the block Reserve a Table. In it, create a form. You can structure questions from your chatbot, and users' answers will be recorded. In this example, we'll have our bot ask, what time and date would you like to reserve a table? Then the bot asks how many people will be in the Forms have a rich feature set in terms of the data format they send. In our case, we choose the simplest. It's sending data to the chatbot administrator's email. Finally, add a confirmation message for your users that everything went well, and add a button that returns them to the menu. Okay, now let's make sure we haven't forgotten anything. Exactly. We still need to do the button work and add links. Add a link to the Our menu in Hours and Destinations cards. Let's move on to the welcome message. Add links to navigation. Open the default answer block. 
This is the standard response from the bot when it can't understand a user's request. Fill it in and add a button for the navigation transition. Here's what may be the coolest feature, AI setup. We'll walk you through it. First, we'll add a new AI rule, which consists of phrases in an output block. AI detects phrases similar to those that we've introduced and shows the block. Just choose a unit that will be displayed to users in response to these queries. Okay, everything looks great, so now it's time to test our bot. To do this, just click the button Send to Messenger, and you can start chatting with your bot right in the messenger. That's it! So, we've got a fully functional chatbot with easy navigation and a table reservation form. Not bad for 10 minutes.